With the increased media attention surrounding the unique accumulations of the rare cancer uveal melanoma in Alabama and North Carolina, many are wondering why we can't call this a true cancer cluster. The CDC defines cancer clusters based on something called observed and expected incidents. When one is considering if something's a cancer cluster, you need to look to see what the observed incidence is over the expected incidence. So you define the expected incidence when you look at a geographic area and try to figure out how many cases of a certain cancer would be expected. And then you look to see how many observed cases are documented in that period of time. If the number of observed cases is higher than what's expected and statistically significant, then you can call it a cancer cluster. In the two situations in Alabama and North Carolina that we're currently investigating, we have yet to prove a statistically significant increase in observed cases over what's expected. Unique to these two scenarios is the situation where establishing the correct number of observed cases is quite difficult. In North Carolina, for instance, a number of the girls were living out of state at the time of diagnosis. Therefore, their cases wouldn't necessarily be counted in the, new, in the North Carolina Cancer Registry. Further, in Alabama, we are unsure what the denominator would be for our expected cases when looking at a college campus. And again, a number of the patients were living out of state at the time of diagnosis, so wouldn't necessarily be counted in Alabama. There are a number of other barriers to really using the uh, traditional uh, expected and observed incidents when trying to define a cancer cluster in these two scenarios, which is why we're having to look at it in a little bit of a different way.